The US-Mexico-Canada agreement is now in effect as a replacement for NAFTA. The importance of an effective North American trade agreement can't be overstated as trilateral trade between NAFTA members in 2018 was greater than $1.25 trillion. Many shippers still aren't exactly certain what, if anything, changes under this new agreement. We've also heard reports of increased complexity, particularly in the rules of origin language in the new agreement. Here's a quick overview of some of the key changes in USMCA versus NAFTA. Auto manufacturing. Automotive is one of the major changes under USMCA, which now requires a 75% of the auto's parts to be made in either Mexico, Canada, or the US. The penalty for not doing so will be increased tariffs. The previous benchmark was 62.5%. A further stipulation to auto companies is a wage requirement of $16 per hour for a much larger percentage of total workers. $16 per hour is around three times the current average for Mexico's auto workers. Many pointed to NAFTA as a reason for jobs leaving the United States and moving to Mexico. By having increased focus on wage requirements, this makes the U.S. and Canada more competitive from a labor cost perspective. According to union representatives, this represents the first time that enforceable labor standards are present in a North American trade agreement. Agricultural Products America's farmers have had a tough 18 months as COVID-19 disrupted supply chains and demand. Then before that, tariffs resulted in much lower demand for U.S. ag exports. USMCA retains a tariff-free trade of North American dairy, poultry, and egg producers. The U.S. hopes to open up markets for American ag producers. This is a major deal, especially for U.S. dairy producers, who will have a much larger market to sell their products to. This was one of the key talking points for the Trump administration during the negotiation process. Digital Transformation NAFTA was created for pre-digital supply chains. Today, supply chains are adopting technology both from incumbents and tech startups as fast as they can integrate it with rapid disruption occurring industry-wide. The new USMCA was written fully acknowledging the digital future of trade. While intellectual property was a component of NAFTA, USMCA takes it to a new level with stronger trademark and patent protections while trying to be mindful of continued digital innovation and growth. Interestingly, copyright terms are lengthened from 50 to 70 years past the life of the author under the new USMCA agreement. Digital goods such as music and online videos are also addressed with clear language for not allowing tariffs or duties on such items. Dispute Resolution an important component of the original NAFTA agreement that has been retained in the latest USMCA is the trade agreement which provides a process by which the USMCA members can resolve instances of trade policy abuse. In other words, there are penalties if a country cheats. Protecting the environment. Improved environmental protections are included in the new agreement with a focus on regulation, enforcement, and prevention. Also, increased funding for environmental protections are included. Continual review. Commonly referred to as a sunset clause, this simply means that the countries agree to review the agreement every six years and that unless the deal is renewed, it will expire in 16 years. Some shippers are actually frustrated by this as NAFTA had no expiration date. 16 years sounds like a long time, but for manufacturing companies that are deciding whether to build capital intensive 300 million to multiple billion dollar factories, 16 years is not actually a lot of time given the scale of the investment. The worry being that what happens if a firm builds a factory in a specific location, then the agreement changes after six years, thereby rendering the decision to build the factory a financial failure at the new time. Cross-border shipping. Value minimum levels are raised to provide more shippers the ability to move cross-border freight duty-free up to around $195 US dollars for Canada and $117 for Mexico. The intent is for small businesses to face less complexity selling their products abroad to US MCA members. Certificate of origin documents and forms are also refined to be more streamlined and present less headaches than before. July 1, 2020 start date. After ratification of the deal across all three countries, the deal actually went into effect on July 1, 2020. Of course, logistics and supply chain professionals have more on their minds in the way of the continued coronavirus pandemic, which has put drastic pressures on global supply chains and created mass financial difficulties for many firms. COVID-19 uncertainty aside, most supply chain managers and industry leaders see the USMCA as a solid replacement for NAFTA, building on its strengths and providing additional measures where necessary. Our prediction is that over the next five years, more companies will resort to nearshoring within US MCA countries, with a much increased emphasis on supply chain diversity. Nearshoring under US MCA provides numerous benefits beyond the tariff-free trade agreements, namely increased and less remote oversight of North American factories, 
versus potentially factories in Asia. Stronger intellectual property agreements also reduce the risk of stolen IP. The shorter distance between Canada, Mexico, and the USA also makes transportation less costly and less time consuming, as overland options can be used in place of ships and planes. Typically, ocean cargo takes around one month to be available in the US following departure from China. Cross-border intermodal and trucking providers are able to provide cross-border logistics services that instead take a few days, which allows for much lower levels of inventory to be maintained and much reduced lead time. Overall, the USMCA, in our view, is a major success for many U.S. supply chains and represents new opportunities to maintain U.S. jobs and export demand without raising product production costs substantially. Check out more videos coming along from Zmodal very soon.